time with Tim. Subscribe to my channel, comments below, and give me the thumbs up. I got my thumbs up on review time with Tim. I go over the FSL protective kids headphones with adjustable limited volume right here on review time with Tim. So uh, first off, the volume on these kids limited protection headphones is astronomically, I find, to be loud compared to say the cozy phones which I did a review on, which were so poor on their quality. But for a kid's headphone, these are actually kind of loud. So let's see if we can quickly do a quick sound, if you can hear it or not. All right. So that's pretty loud. And uh, when it's on your ears, you know, that doesn't, to me, sound like very kid-friendly headphones. Now, this is like a fake dial, okay? And so, this right now is set to the highest maximum volume. Um, what makes it kind of like the kid-proof is that you actually have to push down on this, and then you're able to turn the knob and it's really difficult to do so um, but yeah there's L2 L3 L1 L2 L3 are the uh, the two settings um, right now this one's got set to L3 which is the loudest and I tell you it is loud but you can adjust it, but it's it's kind of a kind of a pain. What you got to do is you have to push down, and then you got to rotate it. All right, and as you can see, it kind it's kind of moving. You know, it can't move to L1, and the volume will not be nearly as loud. Can't even hear it right now. I'm actually playing the same clip. And you can't hear anything. So volume one is definitely the safe volume. And it really sounds muffled as if you were to have some socks over your uh, your ears. It, sounds, it almost sounds like it's off in the distance. That's on number one. Now, if I'm able to move it to number two, let's see, like I said, it's a little, uh, it's a little, a little tricky. Because, you know, this, this, this apparatus, it, it's neat. Okay, a little louder. Sounds a lot closer, for sure. I don't know if, you can pick, if we can pick that up. Okay. And then, obviously, when you go to three. But again, it's so hard to adjust the volume on this. There you go. Bam! And then it's super loud again. All right. So, I mean... These are, you know, they're kids' headphones, but, you know, realistically, they are big enough. You know, look look at, this is all the way adjusted, and that's with a hat on. So, you know, realistically, an adult could wear these as well. Um, they do, you know, you know, they're, they're staying on your ears. Um, they're fairly, fairly comfortable. Um, it's nothing special, you know, it's just a little, um, little foam pad here, you know, that peels on and off, and it's just some hard plastic underneath, and of course there's no special, you know, padding here, or there's no, nothing extra special here, you can't, you know, make phone calls with it, or take a phone call with it, or change the volume, or do any of that other stuff, it's just, realistically, it's just a corded one, you just plug it into your, uh, you know, um, headphone jack, and uh, you're away and you're going. Um, for the price that you're going to pay for these, you know, it's kind of worth the price. I mean, 
they're under ten dollars so realistically the volume's not awful of course you're not going to get super bass tones and trebles and all that other stuff with these because they're meant to be kids headphones uh, but for under 10 bucks, if they break, it's not a big deal. Um, but if a pair of, you know, Beats or Skull Candies, like in my other review of my Broken Skull Candies, you know, those are a pricey pair of headphones that broke. Um, with these, I mean, look, look, I mean, these are these are kids' headphones. They just look at all the flex that you're going to get out of these, you know. And they're, they're going to be perfectly fine because they're meant for kids to be yanking on them and pulling on them and all that other stuff. Um, for the quality, for something that is under $10, okay, is really good. I'm only, for today's score though, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 for today's score. And it's partly because, one, these are supposed to be kids' volume limiting headphones. And yes, you can limit the volume through this push apparatus and the kids you know once the kid figures out that they can push and then adjust the volume like my kids did you know the cat's out the bag so you know once once they figure that out um you know it's it, they're going to be cranking up and these are all cranked up all the way to the top and uh, uh so are these so both of my children have figured out that hey this is a fake this is a fake knob but I can push in and I can adjust the volume on it. And it didn't take them very, very long uh, to figure that out. Uh, but when these things are cranked, they are definitely not volume limited safety headphones for safe air headphones for kids. When they're on the L1 and the L2, I would definitely say they're definitely more kid friendly, kid safe headphones. So there you have it, folks. The FSL Protected Kids Headphones under $10 adjustable volume plug-in. No Bluetooth, no thrills, no nothings. 8 out of 10 for today's review. Take care.